Hi, I'm Eric with Home Network Central, and I'm going to attempt to explain the difference between public and private IP addresses. Public IP addresses are addresses that are publicly routable on the internet. And basically, it all starts with your ISP. Your ISP creates some kind of connection to the internet. So you have your ISP... And they have a connect. They have their connection to the to the internet, and so you get your connection to the internet from your ISP. So your ISP has a pool of addresses that are public addresses that can reach everything else that's on the internet. So what they do is they create another network down here, and they say, okay, our our public IP addresses are going to be available in this network. And you have all these customers that can sign up. Let's see your neighbors over here, your other neighbors over here, and this is your house over here. So they, let's say they give, I'm just going to use a very short thing. Let's just say X, Y, and Z. You have X, Y, and Z IP address. And the, each IP address is assigned to a customer. This is one of your neighbors. This is another one of your neighbors. And this is you. So your IP address, you have one IP address that's assigned to you, and that's your public IP address. And your neighbor, they have one IP address, their Y, and that is their one IP address, and also they have theirs. But now let's say you're a smart person, and you decide you don't just want, even though you have one IP address, you don't want just one uh, you don't just want one thing on the internet. You don't just have a laptop you want to plug in. You have all kinds of Wi-Fi devices and all kinds of stuff. So what you do is you install a router. So that's your router. And what that's going to do is that is going to assume your public IP address. So your router will assume whatever public IP address your ISP provides to you. And your, your neighbor they have their own router and their router assumes that IP address. And this neighbor, let's say they don't have, they don't have a router. Let's just say they have a laptop. I'm not a artist here. So let's just say this is a laptop, whatever. So they have a laptop. So they get one IP address, but we are over here, the smart ones with our router. What our router does is it takes our one IP address that the ISP has assigned us and it says, okay, that's me. I'm now this IP address. But since I'm a router, I'm going to create my own private network over here. So now we have our own private network. And what this router does is it provides IP addresses that you can use on your home network that don't interfere with any other IP address that's on the internet. And the IP addresses that are available to a router, typically you'll find in these, in this area. So you'll, anything that starts with a 10 is a private IP address. Those are not usable on the internet. They're only used on private networks. As soon as your router sees a, a IP address that starts with a 10 like this, it, it will not send it up to the internet. It just, it, it's, it's designed that way. That's how it works. Same with this range. If it starts with 172.16 all the way through 172.31.255.255, everything in between there, so 16 to 31 for the second octet, everything in between there is all private IP addresses. And then you go to this one. This is one you'll probably recognize the most. One, if you if you see any IP address that starts with 192.168, anything after that, as soon as you see 192.168, you know it's a private IP address. And when your private IP address is set up here on your home network, whatever it is, if it as soon as it gets to your router, your router routers are designed not to route these IP addresses anywhere. So I can give you you'll see in my videos, I mention my IP addresses like this in a lot of my videos. And there's some people that might say, oh, look at this idiot. He's sharing his IP address. Well, I mean, I'm not sharing my IP address that's on the internet. My, uh, my private IP addresses are useless to anyone on the other side of my router. And when I say the other side of my router, I mean this is your WAN port. And everything over here is your Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi and LAN ports. 
Wi-Fi and LAN ports. So this public IP address that your ISP gives you, it's just like this, just like they have a router. So let's pretend the ISP, let's just pretend this is their router. Because that's the sign for a router, a circle with an X in it, just like these down here. So let's say the ISP, this is their router. So they created this network, but they are allowed to use public IPs on their on their uh, gear. They're uh, specifically given IPs that are routable on the internet. So when they create that network, like just pretend they have DHCP and whatever, they assign their IP addresses to their different customers that are that are public. And your you plug in your router, your router assumes that IP address. So it just like it worked up here, your router takes that public IP address and that is your WAN address. And then it creates another network for just you. But you, your router does not provide public IP addresses. It applies, it, it gives you private IP addresses, which are in these ranges. Different routers provide different ones, but most, most of the time you'll see this. So if, as soon as you see 192.168, you know that you're dealing with a, a private IP address and that's not routable on the internet. So if, if you're asking, how is it not routable on the internet? If my devices have those IP addresses, how is it not accessible on the internet? Let's say you have a phone over here, a smartphone. Your device, that let's say it's 192.168.1.10. Let's say that's your phone right here. When your phone tries to reach something over here, Let's say you're trying to get to, Google DNS. I just happen to know it's 8.8.8.8. .8 that is a real Google DNS server. So let's say you're trying to get to that. If my IP address is not a public IP and it's just private and my router doesn't know what to do with it, how does it know how to get to Google DNS? It will go to my router and the router will say, okay, you're trying to find 8.8.8.8 .8 and it's going to send it to the ISP. And when it does that, it's actually going to change the packet around. So it, instead of saying, hey, this is coming from 192.168.1.10, it's going to say, hey, this is coming from Z, you know, or whatever your public IP address is. I'm not going to just make one up. So I'm using Z. Hopefully that doesn't confuse anybody. So I'm coming from Z. So it goes to your ISP and ISSP says, oh, I don't know how to get to it, but you can go to the internet to find it. And then the internet does its internet magic and then it goes and finds Google and says, okay, 8.8.8.8. .8 so when this needs to go back, send information back to your stuff, it's it goes for Z. It doesn't know anything about 192.168.1.10. This is not even in the packet. It doesn't know anything about it. And what happens is it sends it, it's looking for Z and it says, okay, I don't know where Z is, but I'll send you over here to the internet. And the internet says, oh, Z, that belongs to Xfinity over here or whatever, uh, Cox or whatever ISP you have. And then ISP says, oh, Z. Oh yeah. I know where Z is. They're over here. And it goes over here and your router is like, yeah, I'm Z. And then your router knows that when something is coming in via, because of network address translation, it knows that, okay, yeah, that stuff is going to the smartphone over here. So that is the difference between your private IP, your public IP addresses and your private IP addresses, your private IPs, 192.168, it's completely separate from the internet. Your neighbor over here, they also have their network. Let's they, let's say they have the same router as you. They also have 192.168.1.10. They also have that on their network. So if they have that on their network and you have that on your network because you bought the same router from the same store, why is there not an IP address conflict? All the IPs are supposed to be unique. 
Well, it's because these, anything that starts with 192.168, it's not going to go through your router and say, hey, this is who I am. It's going to, your router is going to say, okay, it's come to me. Now my, my IP address on the internet over here is Z. So when I send stuff out here, I'm known as Z. But your neighbor, when they send something from their 192.168.1.10, it goes to the router and this router says, oh, I'm Y. So I'm going to look for Google going this way. And then when it comes back, Google's going to say, oh, I'm looking for Y. So it's going to send over here to the internet and the internet's going to say, oh, Y belongs over here. And your ISP is going to be like, oh yeah, Y, this is this customer. And this customer's router, if they have a router plugged in, it's going to say, oh yeah, 192.168.1.10. That's this guy's laptop. So your the 192.168.1.10 is, is not nothing in the internet knows about that IP address. The internet does know about X, Y, and Z, but it doesn't, as soon as you plug a router in, a router separates that network and everything on the other side of your router, this is your neighbor and this is you, everything on the other side of your router is a private network to your router. Your router will not, will not send traffic out your WAN port with this IP address. It, it completely changes the packet. So there's no way anyone on the internet will even know what your IP addresses are. So in the future, I would appreciate it if you see me share my IP address, if you see me say something 192.168.1.1 or whatever, please know that I'm not harming myself by saying that IP address. Now, if I look at my WAN IP address on my router, I would never give that to anyone because anyone can use that IP address to get to my router. And if they know anything about hacking, they can hack into my network. So you, you never want to share your public IP address. You never want to share that. But your 192.168 address is private and no one can do anything with that unless they're on your network. And I just want to show you again these are what the private address range. Anything in these ranges, some routers use this range. They'll start with a 10. And this 172, um, I know, I'm pretty sure Windows uses this. If it can't find, if it can't determine what, if it can't find a DHCP server or whatever, it'll assign itself one of these addresses. I believe that's what the range is that it uses. And r r most routers that I've seen, they'll give you these addresses, 192.168.whatever.whatever. So anything in those ranges are private. I hope that helped out, and I hope didn't make it. Hope it didn't make it more confusing. That is private versus public IP addresses. If that helped you out and you learned something, please give me a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching.